Hello everybody and welcome back to our stretch and release uh, video series. In continuation to our last uh, video where we were talking about our quads, uh, today we're going to talk about how to release and roll the quads. Uh, I hope you've tried uh, the regular drills, the stretching drills which I had shared uh, uh, for your quads. Uh, to start with again, I would need uh, three basic equipments that would be my roller, that would be my trigger point ball and the smaller ball. These are the three equipments I would uh, expect everybody to have in their kit bags. Now to start with, uh, let me explain uh, what areas are we going to roll. So for me, starting my rolling section, if you sit up, if you put your hand on your hip, there is a little bone which is protruding out, that's a pelvic bone. This is the area where we're going to finish and we're going to start just above the knee. So this is my knee joint, just slightly above the knee joint. So keeping things simple, we're going to start rolling our quad. Now remember, this is a pretty long limb. So what we will do is we will try to break this into half and then we start rolling. Means I'm going to put the roller right under my quad. So about, um, I would say about two inches above my knee and I'm going to roll to half of my quad, somewhere around halfway. And then I'm going to roll back. Every time you roll up and down, give a count of about four to five, means four to five seconds. That means keep it slow, keep it slow. Now this is the day, this is the time when we are just trying to identify some trigger points. At the same time, I want you to uh, use this drill as a warm up. We're gonna progress from here as well. So give it about eight to 10 rolls all the way down to your knee and above midway. Once you've done, from the midway, I want you to roll all the way up where we were talking about that little bone, the belt bone we were talking about. Again, keep a count of four to five seconds roll. Keep on breathing. And while you're doing that, keep about eight to ten rolls up and down. Once you've done that, what I want you to do is I want you to slightly turn to your right. That means I want you to rotate your foot on the inside and now if you notice, I am a little diagonal of the roll, keeping the surface area again, half in and going all the way up to the pelvic. Remember, the rolls have to be slow. So, I'm going to look at three different angles. Angle number one, I'm going to roll straight. Angle number two, I'm going to slightly go on the outside. And angle number three, I'm going to go slightly on the inside. That should be your first rolling session for your quads. In this, try to identify your trigger points. When I say trigger points, so you'll find little areas where you roll, you find a little uncomfortable feeling. That's your trigger point. Just keep a mental observation of where these points are and then we're going to talk about that again. Awesome. So we must have found the trigger points which we were talking about. Now from here, what we'll do is, if you found that point, what I want you to do is in the second step, I want you to stop and pause at that point. Once you pause at that point, I want you to bend your knee and straighten that knee. Give it about five bends. We call it a smash. Bend five times. Once you've done, I want you to floss or wiggle five times and then you roll again. So. What I'm asking you to do is every time when you're rolling, you identify those trigger points. Once you identify those trigger points, I want you to pause, bend your knee five times, wiggle your foot or leg five times, and then you roll again. So what we're trying to do is if this is your roller, your muscle, you are moving perpendicular to the roller, and then you move in the same direction, and then we bend. So if this is my complete quad, I want you to focus on the front, on the outside, that's the lateral part. In the inside, the middle part. That'll be three different angles focusing on the full quad. Now, once you've done with the roller and you feel that your trigger points have uh, kind of eased out a little bit, you want to progress, that's the time when I really want you to pick up this ball and duplicate what you did with the roller with the ball. What you're going to find over here is that this ball will penetrate through very very specific areas in the quads and you will feel much more uh, 
you know uh, pressure points with this ball that would be your uh, you know progression once you move the head from the roller great now that was with the roller and the ball uh, a third very important use is of this small ball uh, what we're going to do over here is that we're going to identify a very very specific target point and at that target point i want you to roll use this ball now if you sit up tall and you straighten up this leg the inside part of your knee uh, in simple words we call it a vmo uh, that's an important uh, you know uh, 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 use of this muscle is that every time when you're lunging every time when you're walking every time when you're running your knee stabilizes thanks to this little muscle a lot of times when you lunge you would have noticed that every time when you lunge you try to bend the knee inside of this knee starts falling in or if you squat this knee slowly goes in a lot of uh, you know uh, reason is that either these vmos are weak or they are tight uh you must have seen a lot of these football of these muscles are bulging out that's what we're talking about now after a long ride or a, or a fast run these are the tender areas which kind of trouble you a lot because of which you feel a lot of this pain or the burning sensation in the inside of the knee we will address that so what i want you to do is i want you to take this ball and identify the little area over here by putting your thumb on so when you press you identify the little finger point once you identify that the first thing you can either use your thumb or you can let this ball do the magic and from here i want you to give it a little press and just roll it down around the knee on the inside start rolling on the inside Now you will find this point little tender. So if you, you know, start slowly, gradually, and start increasing the pressure gradually and slowly, you will find that this area is getting drained. Um, talking about, um, uh, you know, all the three uh, quad uh, rollings uh, which we have done with the foam roller, with the ball, and the small ball. Try to, uh, you know, add your stretching sessions with it as well. You will certainly feel that once you have released your quads and you've stretched them well. you will find that e your a your uh, recovery has improved b your performance the day after you feel much lighter so your performance goes much better uh, and also you know there there is regular tightness in your legs and the soreness in your legs you feel much more easy and you relax and then as a, as a whole combination as a whole package you will feel much more relaxed right try this out uh, let me know how your experience was after the rolling do share your feedback and uh, do get back to me if you have any questions or leave your comments in in, in the video and i look forward to hearing from you stay safe guys uh, train smart and see you guys soon.